Hello again. Today I'd like to introduce you to an awesome project that I've recently become involved with. And although you can't see much at this point, in front of me is a paddock, a small block of land from the fence line that goes around that is, has recently been planted out with all kinds of New Zealand native trees and shrubs and grasses, hence all of the bamboo sticks that you see around. And today I'd like to introduce this project uh, and I hope to document it for the long term and see the progression and share that with anyone who might be interested. Right, first off, of course, a bit of context. Um, we are in Marlborough, which is pretty much wine country and the proof is there and pretty much all sides of this small block of land is surrounded by the vineyards but yes this was a paddock uh, of grassland one of the few that remains in Marlborough because most of it uh, is slowly being turned into vineyards however we uh, the people that started this project uh, were able to secure this piece of land and uh, did a quite a bold move uh, in, in the sense that they've planted it all out in the winter of 2023, which is this past winter. So I'd say there are several different things that make this a, uh, a very interesting project uh, to observe over the long term. Uh, one, of course, is the very high density of plants that have been planted in a very small area. Uh, the total surface area, uh, you can see the fence line on that side, and then it comes down this side, as well as on that side, uh, is maybe 4,000 square meters in total, and the total plant square meters and in that area a high high amount of plants have been planted as I said before look at all the bamboo sticks sticking out so high density planting that's one then the second aspect that makes this very interesting at least from my point of view is the fact that all of it the plants have been planted uh, this winter directly into the grass <laughs> and that is very visible I guess and some of the plants like this native grass is barely visible and um, you have a hard time finding it in between the grasses uh, however the lancewood that's right next to it over here is very visible and it seems to be doing fine thirdly uh, there is a difference in treatment for some of the plants so for example we have a kanka hiding over here and it has a sleeve around it as well as the grizzlinia over there but that's not the case for all of the plants so for example the flax this new zealand native flax uh, here does not have a sleeve but doesn't seem to mind i'd say uh, then another difference between some of the plants is the luxurious treatment this lancewood has and you can see the lancewood over here is uh, some of them had a layer of wool sheep's wool uh, put around their base to act as a kind of a mulch and suppress the grass and for most of them <laughs> you wouldn't be able to see that because the grasses have taken over and I moved the grasses aside uh, just to show you that uh, so yes there is a difference in treatment and it'll be interesting over time to observe if any of those things make a difference in how well some of these trees get established right so quick summary uh, about 3500 square meters of paddock have been planted out to native uh, New Zealand native uh, trees and shrubs and some grasses as well. Uh, it's been done in a high density uh, directly into the grass and uh, different treatments uh, with regards to uh, either they've been sleeved uh, and or mulched with some of the wool. If you've made it this far into the video I'd, I'd say well done because you've mostly been looking at a bunch of grass with a bunch of sticks sticking out of it. Um, uh, but I guess that's also just the start of this project because over time, and I hope to document this uh, project throughout the seasons and hopefully over the years, you'll definitely see a change and a difference as the shrubs and the trees and the grasses and whatnot start to uh, grow and the grass starts to recede. I'll also um, hopefully be sharing some more information about some of the plants that have been planted. Uh, for example, this uh, caprosma. I'm a bit of a plant nerd, so I'll definitely get into some plant lists and uh, general species that have been planted. Uh, as well as hopefully sharing some of the more of the economical aspects so how much money was spent on the plants and how many hours went into planting these trees uh, using mostly volunteers but most of all I think it's just going to be about sharing general observations as we go along and we slowly say goodbye to some of the grass 
and welcome. Some of the New Zealand native trees and shrubs and native grasses as this paddock slowly becomes a nice piece of uh, native bush uh, with high biodiversity and all kinds of benefits over the long run. Uh, but for now I'd just like to say thank you for watching and I uh, definitely hope to see you next time for an update on this.